What's up, you guys? What's up, divas? What's up, divos? What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another lace wig video. But let me just stop lying. This is not a lace wig, okay? This is actually a 5x5 five five closure wig, all right? Honestly, I was going to get on here and let you guys know that the wig is cheaper because it's a 5x5 five five lace closure wig. But when I looked up the price value, it was a little bit you know, high to me for a lace closure wig. But however, there are those who know nothing about lace frontals and don't want to do all that extra work and are definitely comfortable with a closure wig. So if that is you, you can definitely check out Ali Pearl. I work with this company like two handfuls of time. So, you know, they are reputable. I'm not going to continue to work with someone that I'm really not caring for. Plus, stay patient with your girl because listen, I will have you waiting sometime. You know when you go in a store and you're really only there for one thing, like that was my whole purpose this morning after dropping off my grandson to school, Target is directly across the street. Let me go in there and see if they have some pots for these plants. I found two that I really liked and they were only $3 each. But it's still really early. It's like 8.15 in the morning. I figured I'm by myself with better time to shop. I just figured I'd venture out into their makeup section because I really don't go to Target for makeup. I really don't do like a lot of drugstore foundations because my skin is just so oily and the girl likes clearance. I'm a budget queen. I noticed that Maybelline Superstay full coverage was on clearance, not all colors, a shade that was so close to mine, only $4.68. I've never heard of their Superstay. I've never heard of their Superstay full coverage foundation. I don't even wear Maybelline foundation, okay? Let me tell you guys, I have it on today, right now, because I just bought it and I figured I would try it out for this video. This stuff is amazing. It gets like a really nice color. The finish is there. It is full coverage. Not that I'm like a huge full coverage person because I really don't like full coverage makeup too much, especially because when I put it on, it's very thick. And also it kind of conceals my freckles. So when you see me on camera, you probably think you can't see them, but you can see them, but just so slightly. And I really don't want that. I really like for them to be visible, but you know, for camera purposes, it's really a good foundation. I do like this. And the color that I'm in is in golden caramel. While I was still in that section venturing out. I came across Revlon. I don't really go to the drugstore and buy makeup. So I don't know when these products came out, girl, I can't even tell you, but they were on clearance too. And they were only $2.88. Revlon Photo Ready Candid concealer. They did have the foundation on clearance too. And I should have tried that out because it was like $3, but I figured a girl is good with this. And I did get in the colors medium deep and deep. Medium deep is more or less light. You know, it's not really deep, but I think to the lighter shade, the different race, it might be a little bit deep for them. Deep to us is like melon. All right. They do dry really quick but they give you the coverage, girl. I was so happy. This has been the best $2.88 I've spent in a long time. Listen, a girl is really, really happy today about her clearance finds because, listen, I don't be trying to spend much, but it's always nice to get new makeup. So I went ahead and got the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Press Powder. And this is in the color Warm Sun. It was $2.68, girl, and I have it on today, too. Best money I spent today on clearance products, like seriously. They had like loads of stuff on clearance, loads of foundation, just loads of makeup in general. So I just wanted to keep that out there with you guys. Let's get into this video. When your unit comes from Ali Pearl Hair, you will receive their standard pink and white box. You also receive a satin bag, which you can store your lace wig in. Along with that, you also receive a black elastic band, which you can use to make your wig fit a little tighter if you choose to. In the package, there'll also be a wig cap, which will contain two wig caps to help you protect your hair. And you will receive an Ali Pearl head wrap scarf, which you can wear when you're trying to lay your baby hairs down or your unit down. The unit is a 5x5 five five closure wig, and the inches of this unit is 22 inches in length. Mm -hmm. 
As you guys notice, you will need to bleach the knots in this closure. guys check out Ali Pearl they have some really great deals along with that they also carry lace frontals and full lace wigs and bundle hair I'll leave all the information below this is a 5x5 five five closure wig I'm not like a closure type of person I really don't wear them a lot like I used to because my edges are just thinner but this yeah. is a 5x5 five five, so you do get a little bit more wiggle room like an inch more than versus a four by four one inch may not be a lot to some but for those who are into closure wigs then you know this might work out for you i did bleach the knots in this unit prior to styling it or just coming on camera i didn't put an elastic band in it because i totally forgot all right but there are combs in the unit and there's a comb in the back and an adjustable strap i did pre-pluck the closure part and a girl went ahead and styled this bad boy off camera we're just gonna get into this real quick you know what i'm saying all right you guys so now that we have this five by five closure wig on i'm just gonna pop the combs in on the side and as you see i do have the name ali pearl written on the front of it that's only because i don't want any of my wigs to get like mixed up and i forget which one is from where so that's the reason why i write the name on them so i'm just gonna take this eyebrow trimmer and cut away the lace the lace is a very um no it's not very thick but it's thicker than most to me Maybe because it's a closure wig, I would have preferred it to be a little bit more transparent. If I would have known, I should have used my tint spray on the unit. But we're just going to try and blend it in as best as possible. If you're going to use the eyebrow trimmer, definitely be careful because you don't want to cut yourself. Okay? So that's the reason why I went ahead and used the scissors. You know, some people like eyebrow trimmers. Me, I'll just be trying to try new things, you know? Can't knock it till you try it, but I just really prefer the, the scissors instead. So I'm going to do the usual as per usual, you know, I'm going to have to try to camouflage this hairline as best as possible. So it did bleach really good after I bleached it. I did let the purple shampoo sit on it for a couple of hours so that way all the brassiness was out. So I mean like the closure did come out pretty decent. And just to make my baby hairs or wispy hairs a little shorter, we're going to take that eyebrow trimmer out again. Now it's time to spray my toothbrush. I only do this because I really don't want all the hairs to stick down. You know, instead of it being really gelled and glued down, I just decided to put the hairspray on my toothbrush. But I'm so pissed off right now because I really cannot find this toothbrush. I've had this toothbrush for about six and a half, seven years, and I cannot find it now. And you know, this is my trusty toothbrush. You guys have seen this toothbrush make its appearance in lots of my videos. So a girl is trying to find her toothbrush. But anyway, I was having come, some kind of difficulties with these baby hairs. I really didn't know how I wanted them to go. So I kind of like put that to the side for right now and decided to just try out this new pressed powder on this closure. But it started looking a little bit too yellow to me. Like it didn't really blend in with the rest of my head. So I didn't think. And especially probably because I went ahead and kind of like washed some of the pressed powder away off my hairline. So I decided to use my MAC one, which is a little bit lighter. A girl's trying to hook it up. Now, I did style this on a mannequin head, but for some reason, every time, well, not every time, but enough times, when I style it on a mannequin head, I really don't like the curls on me. So I decided to kind of like restyle it and repress it out. And if you have a hot comb, definitely try it out on any type of lace front wig or closure wig. It makes the whole process a lot easier. And if you don't have a hot barrel curler, you best go out and get one. They're really easy to use. I forgot to mention that I did cut some layers in this unit, so that's why the hairs in the front are a little bit shorter than the rest. Because the wig was a little bit thin to me, I decided to make layers in it. And this one little side of my head is driving me. All right, 
listen, I'm not going to try anymore because we're just going to keep it real. We are going to keep it real like we always do because that's what we're here for. Well, I'm feeling a little bit defeated right now. There is like this lump, like not even a lump, but for some reason, it will not lay flat over here. And it's driving me crazy because you guys might not could see it, but it is driving me insane. Can I just say this? The flyaway hairs are real. What happened to the color? What the heck? So that's what's driving me crazy. I've sprayed it numerous of times and they just want to reappear. They just don't want to stay down. And then when I feel in that area, it just feels like a little bunchy, but the wig is actually on super tight. Like I can't pull it down anymore or else it's going to be on my neck. I'm not really sure what the density of this one is. I want to say it's like 150. I really want to say that this is like 130% because they have those options available on the site too. I'm trying to get that hump down. I don't know if it made it better. Now, the one thing that I did forget to mention to you guys is I did layer the hair because it's straight, it's virgin straight hair, and it was just one length, 22 inches, and I wanted it to be layered. So I did cut layers into this unit to give it more volume and body. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, the hair quality is nice. It's straight hair, it's very sleek, um, it's very low luster. This is very low luster hair. On a scale rating from one to 10, what do I think of just the hair? I would say it's probably like a seven and a half in my opinion. Now, what do I think about the wig all in all? On a scale of one to 10 now, first of all, you know, I'm not like a huge closure wig person, okay? But they are easy. You see, I'm not trying to glue it down, hairspray it down. I just want to take it off and go, all right? So for one, it was easy. I did like the fact that I'm not a huge closure wig fan, but it fit properly. You know, it can use an elastic band and it was easy to blend. Okay, with the baby hairs and such. Now, the things that I don't like is the flyaways, the hump, and also I really do feel like the lace could be a little bit thinner, in my opinion. You know, I'm entitled to my opinion, all right? Period! It should make like some Swiss lace HD closure wigs. Like that would be bomb because not everybody wants to do a lace front. This one side is driving me crazy. This is like always my best side. I just really wish that the flyaways were not so predominant. Like they are really out there trying to party, girl. Like they is just making it known that we here, girl. You can check out Allie Pearl. I will leave their information below. So on that note, I gotta go. I got another video to do. So if you see me in the same shirt, then you already know. But I love you guys. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. And yeah, share it. Like, share the damn video. Okay. Too soon. Mm -hmm.